Montana and other uh, traditionally red states could pick up additional congressional seats after the 2020 census, but that all depends on whether illegal aliens and non-citizens in other states are counted. One America's Neil McCabe spoke to a Montana senator about his concerns with the upcoming census. Take a look. President Donald Trump nominated Stephen Dillingham to lead the Census Bureau just as the constitutional requirement for a national census is to be conducted in two years. Montana Republican Senator Stephen Daines told One America News that for low population states such as his, it is critical that Dillingham stops non-Americans from swamping Americans in Montana. Thomas Jefferson in 1790 said as the first census director, we should count citizens understand how many citizens we have. This needs to change in the census in 2020. At Wednesday's hearing of the Senate Government Affairs Committee, Danes pressured Steve Dillingham, the acting director of the Census Bureau, on the Trump administration rule that asked respondents if they are U.S. citizens. If we just count residents, we have all these illegal immigrants oftentimes being harbored in sanctuary cities. And what that does is undercuts the representation of the citizens. In January, the political consulting firm Election Data Services posted a study that projected how states may fare in the 2020 census. Not only did they say Montana gains a seat, they also projected Texas gains two or three seats and Florida gains two seats, putting it at 29 seats for the first time surpassing New York, stuck at 27. A state's number of House seats and its two senators combined for its electoral votes. In the election of 1928, Pennsylvania peaked with 38 electoral votes, and in the 2016 election, the Keystone State had dropped to 20 electoral votes, while in the same period, California went from 13 to 55. Federal elections do not reflect the census results until 2024. GOP strategist David Ferguson told One American News states like Alabama expected to lose a House seat should not lose that seat to another state because of another state's population of illegal aliens and non-citizen residents. And states like Alabama, uh, Congressman Mo Brooks and others have brought a lawsuit uh, to count only citizens in the United States Census. Washington conservatives also remember that former New Hampshire Republican Senator and Governor Judd Gregg agreed to serve as President Barack Obama's Commerce Secretary until Greg found out that the Census Bureau, which is part of the Commerce Department, would report directly to the White House. The only constitutional purpose of the census is to establish the proportional representation in the House of Representatives. In the 2010 census, 435 seats were pegged at 710,000 people each. Eight states lost House seats, 10 states gained. So very soon, this will get real. Neil W. McCabe, One America News at the Capitol. Want to see more videos like this? Click on the link below and subscribe to One American News on YouTube and call your cable provider and kindly demand that One American News is added to your lineup. Call and subscribe today.